Right, now that you've set up your maxure.life email address in step one, what we're going to do is use that email address, or if you're not using a Max Your Life email address, we're going to use the email address that you are already using to set up our Talk To account so that we can connect live chat to our websites. So the first thing you're going to do is open your browser window. We recommend Firefox or Google Chrome. I'm using Firefox. Select the address bar and type in http colon forward slash forward slash t-a-w-k dot t-o forward slash and hit enter. That will take you to the talk to website. Now to remember any of these addresses, all you need to do is go to the Word document that we've created that allows you to keep a record of all your user IDs and passwords, including your email address and your website, and also your talk to account. So now that we're here, we're going to click sign up. This is going to allow us to create our account. We're then going to use this account to connect to our personalized websites. All right, so here we're going to put our name. And we're going to use the email address that we set up in the last step. So mine that I used is example at maxure.life. And we're just going to choose a password. Now we're going to click sign up for free. And now we've had our profile successfully created. We have had an email sent to our account so that we can verify that. So what we're going to do now is go and use our webmail login that we used and we set up before to log in and find that email and we're going to click on verify and ver verify the account. Okay, so now that we've gone to our inbox on webmail or our own personal email address if that's what we're using and we've seen the talk to email that we've been sent, we've clicked on the link in that email which has verified our account. Now we can like go back and we can sign in to talk to, which I'm able to click on here. And straight away you can see, as soon as I log in as my new user that I've created on talk to, it's asking me for my site details. So what I'm going to do here is give it a site name. We'll call it example.maxyour.life. This is my personal website and we give it a URL. So here we put in our personal URL that's been created for us. Make sure dot life. And we click next. And then at this stage, all we have to do is click on skip the wizard button. And that's set up. So if we go and have a look up here and go into manage sites, we can see that our website example.maxurelife is now set up in talk to and we're ready to go. So we click back on dashboard and that's monitoring, but it's not connected to our website yet. So that's the next step that we're going to do now. Okay. So now that we've set up like talk to, and we've set up our site on the talk to website, what I've done now is I've just logged in to my own personal website and you can see at the top, the address that I typed in now, an example of that address for you is in the Word document as well, um, where you can put all your details about your sites, your usernames and your passwords. I suggest you use this document to record everything but it, because it also gives you examples of all your personal links directly to each of the pages that you might want to share in your website. So I've gone to my website, example.maxure.life slash wp-admin and I've logged in using my username and password. This would have been sent to you in an email when the site was first set up. So you use that to log in. Once I come in here, 
if I look down the oops, if I look down the side here, um, we can get down the bottom here and we see settings. And under settings, I can see talk to. So if I click on settings, and we scroll down, we've now got all of the settings for our website. So what I'm going to do is come down here, click on talk to. And up the top here, we've got like a place to put our email address. Now this is the email address that we use to sign up to the talk to website. So I used my Maxwell life email address. So I'm going to type in that. And then I'm going to type in my password that I used to set up my talk to account. Then I click on the sign in button. Now that signs me into the talk to website, I can click my site and this is the site that I set up before. So I click that. I'm going to use the default widget. So I go use selected default, use selected widget, click on that button. Once I've done that, I scroll down the bottom, no need to change any of these buttons here and I click save changes. my live chat is now active on my website. So if I open up a new browser window and I go to example.maxyour.life, enter. And once we're here, you can see straight away that talk to is now connected to my new personalized website. Down the bottom, we've got the chat box is ready to go. And if I type in anything here, I should be able to hear ringing start on my talk to dashboard to let me know that somebody's trying to chat. And there we go. And if we have a look, and if I jump back over to where I'm logged in to talk to, I can see over here on the left hand side an incoming call. So this is where you're going to see all your incoming chats. If I click on that, I can see down the bottom it has a join button. I click join and I can say, hi, how are you? And if I just jump back across to the website, we can see here's my message that I sent back to the person on my website. Now just very quick and we will run workshops on talk to and how to get a little bit more out of it. But if I come back across to here, this is where I'm gonna look at all my um, chat messages for that particular person tells me a little bit about them, what page they are on, when the chat started, when they've visited before. If I go and have a look on monitoring, it'll show me there's one person on my website. This is where you're going to see everybody that's using your website, and you also have the ability to start chats with them, even if they don't start a chat with you, just by clicking on this person under monitoring. So if I click on them, it'll take me back to the chat. Um, let's talk and send them another message and then over here here's our message and that's it talk to is as easy as that to set up so I hope that was helpful and let's move on to the next learning module for setting up your website